Show me how to lie, you're getting better all the time And turn it all against a one, it's an art that's hard to teach What up, what up guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez Coming at you a little late today, because I had a little bit to do, like get COVID tested And I'm positive, so yeah I'm going to <coughs> be here for the next couple weeks and uh, hopefully not die Use my referral code, sympathy referral code use, Patreon down below as well Okay, so a couple things to go over. Difference between E2 and Decentraland.org. What are the differences? Well, E2 can be played on mobile phone right now. Decentraland can't. <coughs> E2 can partner with... Oh, Omni One. Okay, so... Someone asked me if uh, E2 can partner with Omni One. Omni One is one of those things... If anyone's seen Jaden Animations, um, Jaden Animations is a channel where she uh, draws most of her stories, one of the titles is Our Tour Went Wrong in All the Right Ways. <coughs> and like a couple minutes, they go to an arcade and you see this omnidirectional. So you're stationary, you're standing, but you, you, <coughs> you have your VR things on and you can turn any which way and run any which way. You're on like a little treadmill, like a 300, and it's really cool. They have it in San Francisco. This uh, new company, that they're, they're calling this thing called an Omni One. Again, that was an arcade. This is meant for in-home, in the house. And I'm very, very excited um, if they if E2 would partner with them. Now, obviously, I would love it if E2 would vertically integrate that. Vertical integration is something where, oh, let's not outsource it. Let's make it ourselves. Um, <coughs> unfortunately, I don't think right now they just have the manpower to do that. It'd be better if they partner, <coughs> partner with Omni One or if uh, Facebook decides to do something along those lines. And they can partner with them on that. Vertical integration is key, but I think if they partner with someone just for that, um, because again, they're not going to come out with their own system for it. It's going to be played on mobile. It's going to be played on what is this piece of hair? I think it's my hair. <laughs> uh, it's going to come out on mobile, or it's going to come out on you know Xbox or PC. Which um, again, I'm not saying they make their own system, but if they were to make that, that'd be incredible. Even if they don't, still fantastic. Can I withdraw only some of my money and leave the rest in game? Next question. Yeah, no, that, that's a very, very good uh, strategy that a lot of investors use. They say, like, all right, you know what? I'm going to put $1,000 into this or $5,000 into this, whatever it is. If it goes up 5x and that $1,000 become $5,000, a lot of people take their original uh, investment off the table. And that's not a bad way to go about it. Uh, many people do it. <gasps> Excuse me. Um, so, yeah, definitely, um, by all means, you can do that. When phase two rolls out, Will that up the land tax? Um, I'm good to say yes for a little bit. <laughs> yes or no. Like, um, let's say if phase two rolls out and most likely not all, there'll probably be one or two countries that might've been sold out by that point, depending on the, on the size of it. But once phase two rolls out and we see that where, oh, land is this piece of land is gonna give this resource, this land gives this resource, Yes, I believe short term, you're going to see a lot of land tax just because everyone's going to be buying it everywhere. I'll, that in conjunction with this being translated into other languages, so much everywhere. Um, and also, I'll tell you why as well. Bill Gates just became the largest landowner or the largest owner of farmland in the U.S. Why? Because he knows that's a resource. It happens in real world as well. You can predict the weather. Uh, you'll be able to tell what's happening to crops. Bill Gates, obviously, however you feel about him, whether he's a good person, bad person, I don't know what his end game is, but I like that he gives a lot to charity and he just, um, part of the giving pledge, where you just, uh, basically every billionaire that pledges, they, they plan to give away most of their billions before they die. Um, I don't know if he's done anything for animals, which I would love, but... Um, does a lot for charity already, um, but he's very, very smart. I don't know what he's going to do with all this farmland. Will he use it to make more money? Will he use it to feed people in Africa? I don't know, but he's doing it so that he knows it's an important resource. Um, this game will, I think, mirror our reality right now. So, yeah, I, I think uh, buying anything that generates a resource is going to be very, very good, which a lot of money will go into it. Uh, where's the main amount? What's the <laughs> minimum amount you need to invest 
before you become a millionaire? This is a very loaded question because it, it, it depends. I've been investing since I got out of the military late 2016, started investing in mid-2017. It's now early 2021. It's about three and a half years. I'm not a millionaire yet. I'm not a half a millionaire yet. A couple hundred thousand net worth, including all the assets. Not that I have that in a bank account somewhere. I don't. It's in Pokemon cards. It's in Tesla stock. It's in account receivables for my, my business. Um, for this game, we could do the math real quick. Um, you know, let, let's say right now, uh, someone put a thousand dollars into tiles, uh, when it was 10 cents a tile, let's put a thousand dollars in. So that means if it becomes a dollar a tile, 10 X, okay, that's 10,000. And then $10 a tile, another 10 X, that's a hundred thousand. And now they have, let's say it's about $38 a tile. So, uh, they have about $380,000. It would take for tiles to become a hundred dollars a tile for that initial investment to become a million dollars. Now, so so that that that's the math again. If you buy it, something at ten cents a tile goes to a a hundred a hundred dollars a tile. Yes, you have a million dollars. If you put ten thousand dollars in at ten cents a tile, you you would have been a millionaire already. It is very very now. Granted, you'd be a millionaire as far as in terms of unrealized gains. In order to get those gains, you have to sell the land. Like my hundred something thousand dollars that I have in Tesla, I don't have that until I sell the Tesla. So I count that as an asset right now. Um, again, I don't have that. Like whatever we have, you know, people that have spent 50, 60, 80 grand, they don't have that money until they sell that land. And that's just a little, little finance take there. Um, Technology, okay, so technology is enabling, not a winner takes all, but a winner takes, winner takes most markets in an unprecedented manner. We've seen it with Tesla, we've seen it with Amazon. Dave Lee from Twitter, uh, Dave Lee on investing on YouTube, but Dave Lee uh, from Twitter says technology uh, and the internet has created uh, network effects. Add a person to any one network, the value of that network grows, meaning the network becomes more valuable to every person in it as well. Um, <clears throat> that's what he says, but it's bi-directional as well, because if you look at eBay and you have more sellers, that means the people out there are benefiting because there's more product out there and most likely cheaper prices. Inversely to that, conversely, inversely, if you have more buyers, then the opposite effect happens. The people that are selling have more of a market. Prices go up for them. It's, it's great. So it's it's bi-directional. The same thing will happen with this game. The more sellers there are, the better it is for the buyer to be able to go in and buy everything up because the prices come down. But the more buyers that there are, the better it is for the seller. Again, I don't really sell um, because they have they don't have to sell their land for as cheap. They have competition. It's absolutely fantastic that the network effects will allow E2 to improve faster, better, gain more users. This is, this is a global game. You know, that like comparing it to something like Uber or Lyft, which is at the local level, Amazon is global. Tesla is going global. This is a global game. Right now it's well, right now it's local. Right now you have mostly people in English speaking countries, Australia, Britain, US, a couple of people from other places. But uh, it is not global yet. It is about to be. Many people are underestimating uh, what this game can become. And again, Maybe um, these, the developers, you know, play devil's advocate. Maybe the developers, I don't want to say that. <laughs> Maybe um, they all decide, you know what, uh, we're going to take a couple days off. And then they all um, just win lotto. They win the $600 million at that lotto right now. <laughs> and they say, you know what, I don't need it. We're going to sell it somewhere else. And whoever they sell it to, they just don't take care of it. And the game goes kaput. Even if they won lotto, I, I, this is their baby. I don't think they would do that, but... Just for devil, devil's, sake, devil's argument, um, devil's advocate, yeah, there's potential that this still goes belly up. They come into like a billion dollars, $10 billion somehow. They sell it because they don't need the headache. And then, yeah, the new, new owners don't take care of it uh, the way they should. But yeah, I, I invest early on in companies. I've done that with Tesla. I, I did that with, uh, you know, Pokemon, you know, before, before quarantining, before the Logan Paul bump, before Katy Perry was attached to Pokemon. Oh, God. Love her. 
Yeah, um, I, I think this is poised to become a really dominant player, in my opinion. Uh, Phoenix says they still haven't um, made the game. They still haven't marketed the game on social media. I mean, not really. <laughs> they came out with a trailer they put on YouTube, but um, imagine once they hire a marketing team and it starts appearing in people's Instagram stories and pages. What would happen? All right, Phoenix. Good commenter. I see you commenting. Love you guys. Thank you for everyone else commenting. Please smash that like button. It means the world. I'm still answering questions here. Um, this is something where I hope they don't. I hope they don't hire a marketing team. What I love about Tesla and Elon Musk is that he's got 30-something million followers on Twitter. They spend zero in advertising. What I'm hoping, and I, I'm pretty sure the developers know this as well on, on some type of fundamental level, especially when hit him over the head when this game went viral the first time, that they 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 don't need a marketing team. I hope they don't have one. I hope that they take whatever fifty, hundred, two hundred thousand dollars that would put towards a marketing team. I hope they just don't hire those people, don't hire anyone, and they instead put that towards somewhere else. Wherever they think they can improve the game. Because <coughs> we're we're doing pretty well by ourselves, uh, I think. I hope they I hope they throw me some royalties. Like I'm making two videos a day out here for y'all. Um Grand Master Mawile says, I live near a major city in the US and there's a botanical garden we have that goes um where where a lot of people go each year. Should I buy botanical garden? San Diego? Six one nine, maybe? I don't know. Um That really all depends. That <coughs> I think I remember on um yeah, San Diego Zoo, the Botanical Garden. If any place that is a well, zoo, I don't know. Botanical Garden, if it's just there, uh, and it's going to be there after the wife, yeah, sure, why not? Um, if it's not going to be there, if it's something that wasn't there before, but somehow is man-made, I'm actually not sure the definition of Botanical Garden. In the case of the dumbs today, I have COVID, so don't be mean. You can be mean. Type your meanest roast of me down in the comments. Do it. Um, should I buy? Yeah, I, that, that's some nature is always great. I always love it. Um, and then there's actually someone that commented like a month ago saying that, you know, what, what if I have, um, I, I really hope I can buy, or I hope somebody's able to buy these parts of nature so that you can't build on it. So yeah, I, I think just to preserve the botanical garden, that that's what I would do. Um, I'd buy it just to preserve it. And yeah, if people want to go there, they can go there. But if you own the land, no one can build on it. Except for you, so, or unless you rent it out, I think then then they can uh, they can build on it. Um, I, I can't really tell you what to do. I don't know your financial situation. For me, yeah, I would buy it. Not really, and I wouldn't buy it as an investment though. I would buy it as a, hey, don't touch my stuff, <laughs> don't touch this. Um, but that is something where you would just buy it, leave it as is, and people will go, and you'll get foot traffic there. Yeah, I actually. I'm pretty sure there will be, because there'll be a bunch of people that, you know, maybe they can't afford to um, to fly there or, or take time off work. You know, they don't have a lot of time. And, like, for me, I remember once when um, I was in Vegas with um, my uncle, my aunt, my cousin, my cousin's friend. But, but my uncle, we went to this place in, I was, on, I was on the Strip. It was some type of, like, almost Amazon jungle type thing in one of the hotels. It was really, I love animals. Like, I worked in the veterinary field for nine years before I went to the military, got paid like poop. Um, um, and I, yeah, I love animals. And I loved that thing, that part about Vegas, because you got to see animals that you didn't see anywhere else. And it was cool. And it was, I wish I could have stayed longer. And my uncle was like, ah, it sucked. And I was like, what? How did that suck? That was amazing. So if you have that, if you have those botanical gardens, I think you're going to have so many other people that would love to visit a place like that, but they don't know that they want it. There was a TED Talk saying, it goes to classical music, but there's a point, saying everyone loves classical music, they just don't know that they like it yet. And I think we could take that and say that there's so many people that want to go there, they just don't know they want to go there. They don't know it exists. I didn't, let me know where it is, I'll go. Um, I, I didn't know it existed until you brought it up. So thank you, Grandmaster Wow. Grandmaster Ma Wow. Uh, next question. Because smaller countries have less tiles, will those tiles catch up with the U.S.? Um, that's yes and no. 
I, I mean, I'm sure there are some places with a small amount of tiles that is going to be bought up just because they're bought up and somebody just has an idea and they start running with it. I, I think it'll be, those tiles will catch up towards tiles in the U.S. Not because there's demand for this one spot, maybe it's a beachfront, maybe it's not a beachfront, but they're going. that's going to happen because there's going to be such fantastic, amazing things that go on there. It's going to be such foot traffic, such ad revenue, that people are going to buy those tiles from them. I don't know if they can't refuse. And they're going to do that, and that's what will make the tile price jump up. Maybe not the price of the U.S., but um, yeah, I, I think we'll have some competing things there. Actually, <coughs> I don't know if anyone's going to compete with the U.S. because you have so much land and so much place everywhere that's yeah you're gonna have big cities like la and chicago san francisco miami you know new york but there's gonna be a random place in like bumble fudge west virginia maybe morgantown west virginia my friend erica lives there um or or just any place in like idaho someone's gonna create something so magnificent like i've never heard of this place in idaho before this place at sandusky ohio tiffin ohio i've never heard of this place but they just might have this amazing thing. And yeah, there's so much space in the US. There's so much innovation. Um, they're gonna have some really cool stuff. I think China and Japan's gonna have that as well. Uh, I, I'm so excited for, for what everyone, for, for, what, for what comes. Um, next question, would you do a podcast? I guess you are a newer uh, <laughs> viewer. For those that have been with me for a while, know that outside of Pokemon and Tesla, I actually would do uh, podcast. I have like seven or eight podcasts on here, and I actually have outside of that. I also do, would do random stuff. I'd be like, "How Chavez deals with this? My thoughts on this and that." I don't really have time for that anymore. I might now since I have to quarantine, <coughs> but I will let you know. Um, planes for Randy, referral code for Randy, righteousness for Randy. I'm gonna lose. So I've already lost so much muscle. I'm gonna lose so much more. I <laughs> get all depressy. <coughs> all right, I love you guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm.